What did you think the difference was between your side and first one? I'm not sure maybe what the difference was because I think you know Spurs are energetic and they keep coming at you and they've got good players in their team and they make uh, substitutions as well that can hurt you with the likes of Naz. Um, but I think uh, we had a game plan that sometimes you prepare for a certain situation and it changes but it was exactly the game we thought it was going to be and I think that allowed us to really implement what we've done all week and we've had a, a big week you know we played Liverpool at home Sunday played Man United obviously in the cup and, uh, and then come here away to Spurs but I thought we dominated the early periods of the game uh, I thought that diamond of Kiara, Yui, Alex and Laya just allowed us to build such a platform that then we get our side in play and then it's about like final actions and we had a lot of opportunities down the right in the first half an hour um, came away from our principles a little bit 10 minutes before half time but just in terms of winning the ball back quickly um, but yeah super proud of the players I think that was a really mature performance and really professional performance and you know we arguably could have got a few more goals but a clean sheet away from home against Spurs and uh, we move on to the next one. Yeah, nice moment as well for, for Jill Ward with, with the celebration, obviously. I'm, I'm assuming that was obviously planned by the team, but yeah, how, yeah. how nice was that? To see? Yeah, really nice. Surprised me. I didn't know anything about it. I think um, it says a lot about Jill, the fact that she travelled with us today. She wanted to come. Um, and also the fact that I think that why we've seen such brilliant play from her this season, the way she's hit the ground running. Has, a lot of credit has to go to the, the group of players and you saw today, everyone's together. I think um, it was a really nice touch. It was really nice for Jill to be here to experience that. Yeah, just so finally for me, obviously um, Philippa Angadal came in, obviously for all today and there's been a, a, a few rumours of interest in her and her potentially leaving Johnny and Swansea and what, what can you to say to that? Used to me. Well, what I will say about Philippa is um, I thought the way she came into the game in United the other night was fantastic. You know, to go into a fast-paced game like that, she adapted so quickly and yeah, today she's been a strong strong player for us and a, and a strong performance. Okay. Now, Kirsty, in terms of Khadija um, Shaw, just with the rate of her finishing ticket this stage of the season. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, Bunny's always going to get chances. You know, this team is good at creating and she, she understands and realises that. I think, uh, I think the thing with Bunny is she'll always score goals, you know. Uh, we can see that. The thing that impresses me most is her energy and her work rate. Uh, without the ball, the way she holds the play up, you know, allows us to progress up the pitch. What she does, obviously, in set plays, for and against, she's just such a difficult player to play against and, and one that's done fantastic for us. I think that was a 50th game and 40 second goal. So, yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah, how much of a blow is it? This news about you, you know, obviously a great win today, but I guess it must have sort of really rocked the group over the weekend. That's a blow, there's no denying, you know, she's such a top player and she it's hard to replace I don't think you can replace Jill it's, uh, and we know that and, and sometimes these things can happen what I like about the group is that you know we've shown a different side to us this season and players step up we spoke about this before the game regarding Jill about you know it's a loss but now this is where you see the best of us and we step into the space and thought the players did that really well today. Does Park came on in that midfield area yeah. Maybe, yeah, also Mary as well, you know, Mary can play in that position, we've got players who can play in there, Ruby Mace, you know, can play more of the holding position with Yui, um, but yeah, we've got options in there, you know, and Jess can do that, Jess can play wide, you know, usually when you have those types of players, maybe not so much with Lauren and Chloe, they, they're able to do both in terms of the high positions and the attacking the field ones. Yeah, no, we, Ellie travelled with us and then she had a sickness bug last night so she had to be sent back to Manchester unfortunately. Uh, but she was with us, she was, the plan was to be with us on the bench. So, um, yeah, I spoke to her this morning when she was on the way back to Manchester and she's okay now but she had a bit of a half night of uh, vomiting. Thanks everyone. Cheers guys, thank you. Thank you.